Well, that's, huh? Well, we're not making blue flautas today. We've had kind of a crappy day. Uh -huh. um, let me start with, it's 10 degrees, maybe 11, I think I heard, 11 degrees. And with the wind chill, it's one degrees. I know, it's pretty bad. So we're on our way to go to a doctor's appointment. And now we're home. And from all of that, hi, Reese Peanut Butter. Hi, Berkey. Berkey, you're not going to believe what happened. We're not making beef flautas or beef taquitos. We're making green chili because I cut up the green, the pork. I'm sorry. And I made these. I rolled all these tortillas out for you guys. <laughs> and I didn't even know I didn't have to do it till tomorrow. Uh, okay. Um, heat. Let's roll. Everybody, welcome in. If you're looking for beef flautas, this is not your place. Damn. This is the this is the place of that. Don't you fix your shirt? <laughs> Just like if you're gonna zoom in on it. <laughs> is your thing next to you? Yep. What? Nah, fuck it. I don't care. Don't shut up, wacko. All right. I'm touching it. We're making this. We're making this. No, I'm just kidding. We're making, because I didn't see the date. I should have looked, and I didn't. I had two of them scheduled for today, and then I picked one, and I was like, we'll do that one tomorrow, and we'll do this one today. But I didn't really look at what I rescheduled the one for tomorrow. So today is the green chili. If you're from Arizona, they have a place called, I'm not lying to you when I say this. There's a place called Filberto, Tilberto, Tilberto and... There's like four. Tilberto, Philberto, Gilberto, like Gilberto was yeah, like a Gilberto. J. So there's like uh, J, F, T. And Philberto. all of them Philberto. make basically one thing. Well, they make a bunch of things. They make a amazing Berkey. Um, Berkey, could you grab can you hey Ellie, can somebody grab um Quirky's cha uh, channel link and drop it in the channel. Quirky is starting to go live. Live. Just kidding. <laughs> She's going live and we're dropping our channel so we can help her get some more subs. Quirky has literally been a supporter of ours since the very first month that we've had memberships. She she got to the top tier member the very first month. And I am going to do anything I can to support Quirky. Anything. I will drop her link every single day if I have to. But when I even reached out to her and I said, is there anything? Could I give you cooking lessons? Is there anything you want as a member? You get this, this, or this. And Quirky said, nope, I just want to support you. That says a lot. I mean, I mean September, when our very first month we offered memberships, Quirky was a member from that day on. And I am extreme, we both are extremely proud and grateful for that. <laughs> Joe wants to start the meet here. And so I'm, we're, dra we're doing half, a, I would say a quarter cup of onions. Oops, if one of my mods can grab Quirky's um channel link and to be honest with you i have never seen oh quirks i love you and i love that video i saw to, today was um you know why because i'm like that with my kids like i don't care what people think if i do for my my family or my kids i love that i do for my family or my kids so anyways um i said all that to say Mods, if you could, you don't need to thank me at all, baby girl. You do not need to thank me. My mom doesn't know how to grab a link. But Berkey, one, as soon as she gets to her, um, sorry, son called. You're okay. I'll go grab it, mama. I'll go grab it. If you guys could do me a favor, anybody in the replay crew could sub up to Quirky's channel. She's a, she's just a phenomenal person. She's a phenomenal person. That's a good way to describe her. She always says hi, and, and let me just say this about Quirky. 
I see her in a diversity of channels. And she's always supportive of the channel. So, I mean, I love that she does for me and Joe. She's supportive. But I always see her so supportive of many channels. And I love, I applaud that. Oh, hey. Oh, you're going to do one clove of garlic. God. Oh, I know. It, and you know what? You feel so special because you could do it. Girl, I'm with you. No need to explain because I get it. I get it completely. I love doing for my kids. So it's onion and garlic. Onion and garlic. Onion till translucent and garlic to the aroma. And then we're going to throw the meat in there. Um, Joey, you do that every time. It goes too much. <sighs> Three milestone number. Hey. You got everything you need, love? So far, so good. All right. Hold on a second, everybody. Um, we are making, I know it's supposed to be beef flautas, you guys. Please, don't be mad at me. But I don't have beef flautas for you. I'm doing green chili burritos. I made my tortillas today. I diced up my green, I mean my... Um, and these are pork steaks, right? Pork steaks, pork chops, pork butt. Anything that I like that the darker, what is that called? Hey, Betty Boo! I, would I didn't with, say it right, Betty. I would say pork chops, pork loin, or, but damn or, Just or uh, pork steaks. I don't know if I'd do butt. It's, no? It's a slow and slow meat. Oh, it is? Yeah. I would do any meat. If it's on sale, you'll catch me using it. What? Don't be telling them fibs. <laughs> Y'all sub up to Quirky's channel. She's going to be going live some this week. Um, you got the bone in there. Yes. For that's, flavor. This, my mom always bone. said it. I don't argue with it. I just do it. And it works. This is what she says. Bone. The bone goes into your meat. Bone. Mm. I use like one or two pork chops, so I put the pork, the bone in it. I'll add some liquid to it. Right now we have garlic and onion on it just to cook your meat. I'm going to add some salt that we're running dry on. We okay, love. That's all we got, so yeah. use it. Use it all. I'm not even joking. What is it, my love? Is that it? Uh, you got pepper? Onion. Where's that pepper? I'll get you. I'll get you. I got you. I got you. Onion powder. Pinch of that. No, you want to go. Yeah, that's, that's fine for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good if put a half a teaspoon of onion powder, that's my breast. <laughs> a little pepper, a little more pepper. If you've been, if you live in Arizona, there's a place called, it's in Phoenix. It's called Phil Burdo's Green Chili Burrito. If you go to any of the Illibertos, whatever, <laughs> whatever letter it starts with, they pretty much make, they're all kind of uh, <laughs> the same fam, within yeah. the same fam. So they, <laughs> they do uh, make the same kind of foods. They're all like uh, to go. You can eat in, but hey, you know, it's, they're burritos and, and uh, plates that you can either eat there or to go. Kind of a fast food joint, but they make some damn good Mexican food. So good. But it's, if you this is one of them right here. You guys, this they sell this in medium, mild, and hot. So you can still get that great flavor. I sound like a commercial, bro. <laughs> you can still get that great flavor with not so much heat. Just kidding. <laughs> you sound so innocent. I sound like a commercial. Yeah. You can still get that same great flavor with not all the heat. Oh. All right, babe, don't try to change it. No. Change it. Mom, he's trying to ruin our meat. Some salt. Oh, some salt. It's just salty. Okay, once... These are your bones. You want bones are your friends in this. Even though you're gonna cut it off the bone, that's what I did. You cut it off the bone, and my mom, my mom has always told me, put your bone in there, Yvonne. 
pork steak, pork chop. That bone is your, what, baby? Still cooking, right? Yes. Okay. But I've got to show you yeah, guys. you got to have the bone in there. i got to show you this. This is what, because my husband loves me. Oh, yeah. Tell me it's not the cutest. I'll pose with it really quick. Hello. I love it. Mm, I love it. I love it! Just kidding. But let me tell you why. I drink a lot of water. And I usually am filling up my water bottles. Am I lying or am I dying? No I drink a lot of water. And every time we leave, something. well, this is one of my, my glasses that uh, here at the house, I drink this one, but I always have to get up and refill it because it's only 16 ounces. But when we leave, my hands don't hold things very well just because of my RSD. This one has a handle. So I, it's easier for me to hold. As Joe would say, why are you buying glass then if your hands can't hold it? Because it's cute. Mm. I love it. I know it's you my can't favorite. See me, but you know I'm shaking my head. Shut up. Joe thinks it's you're ridiculous. I'm like, yeah, and what's your point, boy? If we're you use you can do a tomatillo, but it wouldn't be called green chili. The chili is the hatch. It looks like a chili pepper. Green chili. These are green chili burritos. Put as much as you guys want. We probably put about a quarter cup right now. Yeah, that's like a cup. Um, but we 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 love yeah, this stuff. Good, All right, you're gonna just kind of blah, 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 blah. Are you already gonna get ready to take the bone out in a minute. Keep going, Jojo. Keep going, bro. Yeah, Keep going. going. Hey, going. Amac. I'm going. Wispy, Amac. Hey, walk talking smack. Oh, I just now got that. A Mac talking smack. Shut up. Freaking welcome. Baby, I feel bad. I hope you're not excited for the flautas. I'll make them tomorrow. I promise, you guys. I'm sorry. I had already diced it up. And then just now when I was going live, I went to press the button. I go, what does that say? And I was like, are you crapping me? I did it again. We weren't thinking straight anyways. No, we had. <laughs> we're issues. We had but, issues. Yeah, just keep us. Just keep us in prayer. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just know that. Let me say it like this. I'm going to be real with my people. I'm not sad fishing by any means. Not sad fishing, but I'm going to be real. Mom, I have to tell you what's going on. Okay, I'm not sad fishing, but I got to just share this because this is the kind of shit. I mean, the kind of stuff. Okay. You know how it's 10 degrees outside? It's wind chill is down to one. We have a diesel. Does anybody know what's wrong with our vehicle? Because I'll tell you what's wrong. <laughs> we have a diesel. It is one degrees outside. So, right? We, he had, um, we had an appointment that we weren't able to go to. Yes, freaking. Yes. So, <sighs> yeah. It gilled up on me, boys. It did. It did. It's... I've never had it happened before it, we turn around now it happened turned around i mean we we lived in michigan so why would we ever think this is yeah I've, but the I've wind gone through is colder nights yeah we've had it's cold uh, it, you know, the expensive one yeah just so we'd have fuel to, cause yeah we, that's we literally that's where it's put at, it, extra it gas in blend. we did we put extra gas in it so yeah. that way we're like like in the summertime too because it's so hot and we don't want the gas that's in the tank to evaporate. So we put literally forty dollars in, even though we only had a, a we had a quarter of a tank. So we literally are at three quarters. Yeah, like we wanted to make sure we had enough fuel in there, you know, so it don't get yeah. you know messed up when it's so cold. Joe was heading out. He calls me about five minutes after he left, and I'm like, why is he calling? So there's that's never a good sign when your man calls right after he left. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, hey. And I was like, what? We'd be done. He's for, like, now we got when tomorrow mm -hmm. and then half a day Wednesday. Supposed they, to get up to like 46 or 48. They, the only Hopefully thing, it'll be like 48 for like a good five hours. The only thing that said that we can do is take up. it to a heated garage. Hello, we, we're in an RV. We don't have one. Bring your battery inside at night. That's what they do up in Canada. No, it's the fuel pump. The fuel. The pump. The fuel gelled up. Ready? Oh, you guys, come on. Oh, yeah. We're not cooking. We're <laughs> I not forgot cooking we're cooking. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what about these guys? 
Okay, how much flour are you Quarter cup in? is what I'm putting in right now. A quarter cup. Uh, I'm going to put put a heaping quarter cup. So it's about... Uh, but I have about a pound of pork butt. Here you go. Because you need to scrape yeah. it off. About a third, third cup of flour. So anyways, that's what happened today, you guys. But every time we come, we have issues. And Joe's like, don't even tell them. They're going to be like, okay, you're late again. What's the problem now? <laughs> But I was like, I'm going to tell them, because you guys have to feel our pain, yo. Yo. This is the first time we've ever been in one degree weather. Ever. We've never been in one degree weather. No, How no, are we supposed to know? Well, I've been in colder colder situations with that truck. I know, it's, I know, I know, I know. Whatever. Cheap-ass cheap fuel. I know. Hey, James. Thank you for popping in, James. Halloween baby. What's up? Quirky, freaking Milltown. It's warm nine here at the moment. Oh my God, with a wind chill zero. Oh my Lord. You know what? Honestly, we're like, okay, we got a 3,500 diesel. It can go through snowstorms and blah, blah, blah. Once we have to get it running. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah, will go through it, but it has to start running. Anyways, you guys. Well, got a day and a half before it gets warm enough. It's not going to get it, warm so. until Wednesday here. So yeah. then it'll defrost. It'll, it'll defrost the engine-ish. That's what it looks like. Look at... You can add water pork. So you're either going to add water or chicken broth to get that gravy with the pork, or with the onion, the flour. Because right now the flour's on top of, but you have to cook off your flour or it's going to be glue. So you have to cook it for at least a couple minutes to get that flour um, cooked. Oh, and then we're this? we're adding chicken broth. Chicken broth, how much? You can go ahead and add it all. Because I'm going to add a little bit of water. Yeah. I add a little bit of chicken broth. It's yeah. underneath this instead of using the city water, which is completely froze. So we have to cook with our bottled water or our our jug of water so or five prepared, gallon jug we prepared pretty good for everything for but for, the truck for, for the trip, man. that's the truth yeah. we did pretty good preparation i know, I know. halloween baby this big milltown milltown when did you get here millie oh my god i'm gonna start calling you millie 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 and berkey all right we're still at about medium medium high heat all right look at it it's gonna need more but i'm warming it up because it comes out of the it's water get thick the water cooler just as normal this is what it's supposed you to look like. You put flour in anything like that, like a roux or whatever, it's it, it starts out liquidy and it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. So that's why you, you add more liquids to it to bring it back to where you want it. Yeah. And then you got to kind of... Uh, um, See how thick it you is? You got to kind of do some... Uh, uh, Dissolving. No, like... Oh. Uh, Can you see it? You got to predict... That it's going to get thicker when you're done so you want it a little bit looser than what you think it should be so when you take it off the heat and then you're serving it and stuff it doesn't like seize up and get all thick can you guys see how thick it is look at how thick it is i mean if you want it that thick that's fine but right. but it'll it'll I'm, we can reduce that down if it's if you if you think you're done and it's still watery just keep it on there let keep it the heat and, and it'll, it'll thicken it yep. it, you'll reduce it if, you know what i mean if it's not just the uh if you've uh, run out of your um, flour, mm -hmm. you know that reaction that the flour is not thickening it anymore, and you got too much liquid in there, just keep it cooking, and it'll cook down and reduce and get thick again. You guys just know that if you guys, if we weren't live right now, I would have cooked this about six and let it simmer on low, right. and the meat gets more and more tender. Yeah. Okay. If there's no rush. Make a pot of beans, make some rice, put on the side of potatoes, make this. It doesn't have to go like with a burrito. Yeah. We just went to um, Arizona and we had it in a burrito. But just know that this on low, the meat will dissolve, like literally yeah. crumble. It's so tender. We do exactly what we just did, but instead of going from here to burrito, you put a cover on it and let it sit on medium low and just simmer for yep medium for, don't even put it on medium low yeah. but it has to be low yeah but with the cover on there and you know oh yeah 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 condensation yeah, will the keep condensation it. will keep it keep it moist yep and then and then you can just leave it for you know hours 
and uh, your your meat will just dissolve in there almost. It will. We're going to, I want to taste a little bit. Taste your food before you put it out. Taste it. You added flour to it, okay? You're adding flour to your food. It's taking it from the flavorful down to about a three, okay? Good. Nope. Well, <coughs> is it hot or spicy? Oh, I just went down the wrong too. Hey, Chingal, you scared me! What do you think? I think it's spicier than shit. It's hotter than shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that patch pepper, man. You used You're all done. of them. Babe, no. There ain't no. There ain't no salt left. There ain't no crying in salt. You can. Yeah. We'll have to use this, Joe. You're. Uh, don't use a lot of it. No. Nope. It's got Does other flavors it? in there. Yeah. I can use some, just a little I'll bit do to, to do salt else. it up. I got it, bro. I got it, bro. What you got? What are you gonna use? Taco seasoning. Ah. What? <laughs> Should be all right, man. Whatever. I could just do just a little bit. <laughs> we ran, don't do that. That's only because we ran out of salt, guys. It's freaking hot, man. It's hot. <laughs> the spoon's oh, out. sorry. I'm gonna lower the heat now because it's at the thickness. We're just look. We're we're uh food's done. We're just how am I saying it? The food is done. We want it to just get more tender or stay warm while you do other things okay if i hadn't done my tortillas then i would go hey let me roll them out i have a video on tortillas guys or i would have done them with you guys okay it's be somewhat thick so it doesn't really run out yeah it is milltown milltown could you grab um quirky's channel and drop her channel link in here milltown please Mystical, welcome, welcome, love. Give me love, welcome, love. Woo! Give me love, got a membership. Do we have any of the uh, foils left? I thought they were folded over there. No, but you could maybe use uh, one of those checkered things that might work. Yeah. Oh, you wanted the foils. Yeah, the foils. Um, no, up here, Daddy. At the very top, you'd have to stand and look at the. I'll do that. Do it, do it. Okay. This is what your mitten does on her days off. I made these because I wanted to show you guys to make them like that's like your kid size burrito. But then we also have big family burritos for the familia. Pretty cool, right? Thank you, Milltown. Y'all sub up to Quirky. She's got a channel. She's going to be going live this coming week or next week or whenever she's going to do it. But I think it's exciting just to start out your channel. And you know what, you guys? Some of you guys were in here when you guys started, but I'm going to say it again. I have had... I'm, I'm very blessed. I'm very, 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 very blessed. I'm going to say this really, really quick because I know I said it at the beginning, but some people are here. I have, I know they look so good. Quirky has been a member on our channel since the very first day that we released memberships. So I own, I have a couple people that have been as uh, that long. And I, I just, the, the reason I'm bringing up Quirky is because Quirky has been a top tier member that I reached out to her and I said, is there's anything I can show you? Can I cook with you? I don't mind. I know that you are, I mean, that's what comes with the tink level is that you get to have a cooking lesson, a 30 minute, 45 minute, anything you want to do, I can do it. And you know what her response to me was? And I just want to support you. I don't need you to give me anything extra. To me, like, it just says so much. It really, really does. That she wasn't even looking for the extra benefits that the tier came with. She just wanted to be supportive. And that's the kind of person that Quirky is. So I ask you guys, if you could do me a solid and consider subbing up to Quirky, I would appreciate it. She is a, she's just a good person and I appreciate her. 
So, good. I do too. Was the, I mean, you just, I'm so grateful. Like, to, I reached out to say, can I do anything? I'd love to show you some baking or cooking. And she said, nope, I'm your fine man. I just want to support you. So that makes me feel good. It makes Joe feel good. We're going to roll them, you guys. These were, um, okay, let me just say this. It's the same tortilla me mix, like the dough. I just made the ball a bigger ball versus a tiny little ball. That would make the littler ones. Okay? It's the same masa. It's just a smaller ball. See, there's that size, that size. See that? All right, let's roll them. You can make a breakfast burrito. Put some chorizo and egg in it, little papas. Put it in there and then wrap it up like that. We would go to a restaurant over there, Filberto's. They would sell breakfast burritos in the morning. Like, I know you guys call, like, the ones that they have over at McDonald's a breakfast burrito. That is not a breakfast burrito. That's just a little taco, a breakfast little taco, okay? The, over there, they make it this big <laughs> with chorizo and egg and papas. And it's just, it's amazing. <laughs> it's really amazing. What do you got for me, Dad? Did you get a uh, paper? Yeah, we got it all. You want me to make it on there? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll, oh, we'll right, yeah, the right paper. Yeah. I love you. The way they serve it. Yeah. I love this man. Okay, y'all. Which one do I use? Oh, we want the bigger one. Of course we want the bigger ones. What are we, crazy? You guys, look at how fast that is. We The tortillas, you can buy burrito shells. You don't have to do the homemade. I just, y'all, it'd be like crazy for me. I tell you guys not to buy them when you know how to do it. Look at it. And then I turn around and go, let me go buy some burrito shells. I can make it. It was flour, salt. I use oil or, or, or lard. And then I put salt in it to activate the baking powder. Hot water. And then I knead it. And then I grab a ball off. And then I roll it out. And then it, I don't, I don't stop when it's right there. I keep pushing and then I turn it and I keep pushing and then I turn it. That's how I get it this big. You just keep pushing it out. That sounds weird, right? Keep pushing it out. <laughs> what are you doing, old oh man, Winter? Waiting. You can put beans in it. We hated when they changed and started putting beans and rice in it. Because every time we got it, it was always just meat with gravy. And we're like, why did they change it? Because, I mean, obviously for cost, they changed it. During the vid, I think they changed it. <laughs> Woo! You scare me! Go. Okay, ready, guys? Here we go. Go in. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to pull it all the way back. See that? I'm pulling it back. And then I'm going to grab this and keep rolling it. And then we're going to... Wrap that rascal. <laughs> Joe. You, you guys, believe it or not, when we had our kids, we would do this. We would do this with our kids. We'd do the burritos. We'd have order hot dogs. And we'd... Joe! Hey, two. Joe? Joe Beat. Joe, Joe Birdos. Joe Birdos. <laughs> need, that, um, need that other... Uh... Green chili burrito on the fly. Are you the waiter? The waiter? All day long. Joe, I'm going to knock him out, you guys. I'm the expediter. He's the expediter. I love them green chilies. Joe, I'm going to punch you. You're making me nervous. Uh, what about if I do tacos to show them tacos? No. No? <laughs> no. You're like, no. <laughs> And do as many as you want. You guys, I think I use three or four pork chops. It's just me and Joe. I don't, I want a little leftover, but I mean, warm up some beans in the morning or that's for- That's not enough in there for you. Why? Cause that's, a, you'll have more tortilla than you do uh, carne. <laughs> but it's a good tortilla. Yeah, uh, it's a good one. It's nice and soft. Yeah, you know, if you're, you're doing Filiberto's, man. We want it Here fat. at Joe Berto's, <laughs> we, we make sure that we're stuffed to the gills. Grab it and pull it back. 
okay? You grab it, and then you're going to pull it. Okay, guys? Roll it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Okay. Two for the putts. <laughs> Joe's a wacko. There you go. Here you go, Mr. Putt. Come on over. Can I even coax with that? No. Did you pay for it? While I drink so out of my ways. fancy glass. Hey, Rachel. In so many ways. You don't have any. What? You don't have any. I know I don't have no sodas. We, what do you want? Water? Just water is good. We ran out. You got a water. In I think here? we don't have any more tea either. Here, uh, here you get a cold one. <laughs> Thank you, baby. I'll, I'll take the warm one. Come know. on, let's do this. Mr. Joe? Mr. Papa Joe? Call me Joe Birdo. Ah, Joe Birdo, Mitten Papa, come on with it. Why is it so light? What? There's one missing. What? If I can't find one thing to stop about, right, Joe? There! And then there was a light. Whoops. All right. Okay, let's do it, guys. Let's get our takeout from Joe Birdo's. <laughs> they come in a bag like this and we go pick them up. Joe's so cute. <laughs> Mine's the first one, you're the second. I always. We have no cheese lab for you. That's all right. I don't, I don't need let's any Let's take y'all. Oh my God, we're unrolling it. Look at that. Nothing to thank me for, Mama. You support me, I'm supporting you. Yum. <laughs> Stop! Yum. Let's do it. Tink. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that's oh. hot. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. <laughs> that's good. That is very good. Uh, that's what you're looking for. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. And it's tender already. Mm-hmm. Real good. That's why you don't want pork shoulder. Because if you want to do it quick, mm. you can you can cook up a pork steak quick, and it'll be tender. Mm. That's so good. Holy moly. Mm-hmm. Mm. Make sure you microwave your tortillas. Mm. To soften them up. Mm. Mm. So good. It is very good. <clears throat> oh no. Mm -hmm. You got up in the microwave to make them bend real easy. Yep. You can use a regular tortilla, put the meat, and just fold it in half like that. You can do either one. The bigger, I mean, they sell different size tortillas at the store. This is like, um, probably like a large, like a small burrito. This is a tortilla one, like a home style one. And then they have like extra large burrito shells. See, I made it crazy. It was all crooked. That's another small one. Good, mm. baby? Mm. Good. This is my first one. Oh, or my last oh. one. My hands give up after a little while. I have RSD in my hands. But there you go, guys. I have a recipe for my tortillas. Milltown. That's I'll do good. a tink with you again, Mama. That's good. Milltown, tink it with me. Tink. Thank you, Milltown, for the blessing. Thank, Thank you. Mm. Was there bacon? Mm-hmm. Oh. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Pork, pork, pork. It's called 505 Chilies. Pork. Mmm. Mmm. That is so freaking good. This is the name of it. Those are the green chilies when it's called for a green chili burrito. You brown your meat, onion, garlic. If you don't like garlic and onion, put the powders in. Add your red, the green chili pep, the, the green chilies. Done. There you go. Thank you, Milltown. Where? Thank you for the blessing, Mama. Bigger, thank bigger, you, bigger. thank you, thank you. Work, work, work. All right, guys, get out of here. I love you guys. Mm. That was a quick one, right? Yeah. I love you all. I would pay for that. I have paid for those before. We have paid for them. Those are so good. Super simple. Talk mm. about freaking 
crowd pleaser. You give those, <laughs> you give those to guys at a football game, they go freaking nuts. Those mm -hmm. are so freaking good. I swear. That's good, man. You could make two more out of here, you guys. Oh, yeah. still meat. Absolutely. Hell, I'll drink the damn juice. <laughs> Joe, shut up. I love you guys. Be blessed. I love you all. <laughs> I'm serious. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you, everybody, for being in here. Thank you, Meltdown, Berkey, everybody who blessed us. I appreciate it. Thank you for the gifted memberships, Milltown. Rachel, thank you for being a uh, continued supporter. Milltown, thank you for blessing us. I absolutely appreciate it. Tattooed Baby, thank you for being in here. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you guys so much. It's a thank blessing. Thank you all, everyone. Just too much. <laughs> Be blessed, guys.